You know what, I might as well have this microphone on. Oh yeah, I never really thought about uh, post uh, advertising on TV tropes much. I just assumed by the time anyone would come across the post, uh, my stream would be over, so... Okay, just to check, uh, can you hear the my computer's fans at all, or... Because I've been tweaking my mic to try and make sure that's not getting picked up, but... Okay, guys, I'll just get these links posted all over the uh, old discords. Try not to overthink what my voice sounds like. Gotta speak through the nose, speak through the nose, speak through the nose. Keep it tight. Okay, and one in Andres' server. Okay, I just learned that uh, bungalows apparently became so known because they would bungalow roof on them, interesting enough. Oh yeah, to be honest, I need to get one of those, uh, you know, the cover things you can get for mics that stop them picking up your breaths and stuff. It wasn't a, really a problem with my old mic because it just wasn't that good, but... Pop filters, that's it. And there's also dead cat, dead cats as they call them for wind and stuff. Come on, computer. Okay, Rainbow. Thanks for that. Uh, sorry, that sounded sarcastic. I genuinely mean thanks for that. I'll... Uh, well, I'll have another play around later just to see if I can eliminate it entirely. Okay, I think that's everything. You've only heard of uh, pop filters because AH are always talking about them, mostly because they complain about one guy spitting too much. Well, oh, no one likes spitting. Anyways, correct my posture, Ga grab my controller, everyone sitting comf comfortably. Hey Froy, how are you doing? Oh, if everyone's sitting comfortably, we may, to we use a joke, begin. Alright, update on my uh, May cosplay. 
So, yep, I posted it on uh, Twitter already, but I've got just sort of like the basics of the colour down. I need to rinse this out a bit so it's not all uh, solid, and I think I might need to go through with another layer because I didn't quite get all the way through with the um, ink, but yeah, that's about the right colour, would you say? Oh, thanks, Roy. I mean, like, you've literally got May here to compare what her hair's meant to look like. Kind of need to work out what's going on with her shirt, though. I mean, is it just an orange shirt with uh, dark sleeves, or is that just an abstraction? <coughs> oh, anyway, let's just start off with some um, Demon Tower. So to reiterate, uh, last session was um, May's favourite holiday, which is sort of like halfway between a Harvest Festival and Halloween. Ah, oh, thanks, Nolas. And all went well. She was um, coerced into taking part in a stage performance, you know, because she is literally just Chloe as a cat. Or rather, I think they uh, retroactively made Chloe basically May as a human. Uh, oh yeah, and yeah, basically, long story short, at the end of it, um, she sure a ch small child get kidnapped and basically got told by her aunt is a police officer of course, a cab, uh, not to interfere, in so many words. Who would uh, baby in Life is Strange? Um, let's see, uh, she's May's love interest who's had hardship and is annoyed that someone else is carefree. I guess uh, both of them are actually more like basically Chloe uh, between them. Why does Tower May drag the sword so slowly? Basically, within the context of this game, you've been getting weaker and weaker as you go a level up. So, uh, tap uh, video game May. The pit aka the pale one, is basically, um, ah yeah, aspects of Chloe. Such is the folly of trying to compare a given fictional character to another one for one. Oh, take a shot at me, I dare you. Basically as you go up you get weaker and weaker. So as you can see in the top left, um, I don't know if it's that way or that way. I think it's that way. If I point this way, am I pointing towards the uh, game? Anyway, yeah, sort of like going hollow, except it just happens as you progress. But uh, to compensate, you basically get more dash attacks. Another thing you can't actually see is um, you can actually limit slash a limited number of times before getting tired, and that's getting worse as well. Uh, yep, stage right, our left, or something like that. Basically, it's like human anatomy. It's the um, one that is yours. Okay, so when I get to the door in the north part of the map, there's going to be ghosties uh, guarding it. Ow. Said ghosties will not like me, so I'm just going to run. Oh, this is turning into bullet hell. Hey, Norky. I'm uh, oh, doing okay-ish, I guess. Oh yeah, now he wants to use a sword. Uh, 
Yep, just about getting the wig for my May cosplay ready. Um, I'm not, now I'm streaming a night in the woods a bit. Okay. Whoever that is in the orange hoodie looks like bad news. Oh god. I hate fighting rogues. Okay, now he's laughing. Ow. So, yep, yeah, long story short, I'm doing okay, I guess. Could be doing worse, could be doing maybe a bit better, but... Like this little detail that when they lose their heads, they uh, have a bit more trouble uh, telling where to. direct their attacks. Obviously, um, because I'm in this uh, level now, I'm down to four health maximum, so. Here. And I'm dead. Silly enemies. Walking blithely into obvious hazards is for me. Yep, I like that one, Nolus. Yep, those rogues are a nuisance. I guess this is my karma for always playing Rogue. That is to say, playing the uh, character class Rogue, not the game Rogue. But I'm terrible at Rogue likes. Both spellings are uh, acceptable, uh, actually. I don't know, Google it. Ow. Ow. Bloody hell. Kinda like how sometimes, because of the AI, sometimes enemies get confused when you die. You know, they just wanted to give you a hug. I don't know. This is our house. Googles, it's Ife and not Eve. Fair enough. Ow. Ah, the charge tax is getting me. Hey Amanda, how are you doing today? Like Eve, which is also like a many English words that the E is actually there for a reason. Ah yes, the magic E as they called it while I was in school. Oh god, they can still fireball. I'm in trouble, I'm in trouble. Kiara, how are you doing today? And Nikki? 
Yep, I'm just playing the game within a game, Mickey. I'm doing very badly at it. I'm currently on level 7, Blood Moat. Yeah, that about sums up English in Orky. A Brazilian rules, and an exception for all of them. In conclusion, I only like rogues when I'm playing as them. Oh, hey, it's uh, making it e easier with its enemy distribution. How oh, nice. Ah, not too bad, Kiara. Just been distracting myself by working on the uh, my uh, May cosplay wig and such. But there's a lot of phone calls and paperwork to be uh, sorted out. I wasn't fighting a rogue. That's true. Enemies have friendly stab in this. Yeah, and if you, um, basically the fireball throwing enemies can pretty easily um, hit other enemies. And if you knock an enemy's head off, the me a melee enemy's head off. They'll probably him. Um, they can quite easily hit other enemies too. There you go. They can easily hit their own allies. Ow, 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 ow. Oh. Of course, you can nurse also get stun locks like that. So if I can take out that last knight, okay if I just hide here, so you're working on a pansexual uh, bass guitar pick drawing. Oh cool, is that going to be a new mode? <laughs> yes, you fool. Slay your allies for you. Surprise! by picking this lock. And I've got my lock pick course in it. reiterate that uh, master locks are actually very easy to pick and it's actually embarrassing I haven't already managed to do it even though I'm a complete novice he hasn't opened anything but a master lock oh 
Oh yeah, it's a fun hobby. There we go. Oh uh, yeah, it has that sort of indie platform, well to be fair it is an indie platformer game, it's just that they embedded it in another indie indie game with platforming elements. You know what, no more slow and careful, I'm going for it. been a better idea. Okay, one more try at this and then I'm gonna uh, get back to the uh, main game. Okay, there's so many fireballs from the enemies. on me and that outright giving me the uh, health pickups before I even need them. That's just embarrassing. Did it just... Dodge, it gives you quite a generous amount of iframes. Pretty sure you can't actually be killed while you're doing it. Except it's got swords and guns and upgrades and stuff. And it's like horizontal or something, not top down like the old Metroids. Oh, side scroller, you mean? Very generous now. There's only two enemies in here. Okay, will this be the time I make it to the boss? fight time. I'll just make this one try at the boss and then I'll get back to the main game. Let's see what we've got here. A blood pool. Uh. Okay, 
Okay, halfway, uh... Oh, hey, that looks like that one old guy that hates me. Another Quaylag type. Baylag? Okay, I like that one. Okay, uh, let's just play some bass and... We've checked all these. Yep, checked all those last uh, stream. <laughs> I love Sharkle. <laughs> but he doesn't. Could play some bass, but which song? Not bad, considering I don't know how to play the song. Oh, thanks for saying I'm doing better, Froy. The missed notes, you feel that, Kiara? <laughs> anyway, I believe there was an issue of uh, me literally witnessing a child getting kidnapped, so... Hmm. Well, we're looking a bit older, I guess. We're to take, like, one moment and make it like the official version of us. You're just, like, the same every day. What is your bird existence like? Do, do, do. We have detective book... Any bo detective books out here? Of course, of course we do. Do we have any books about ghosts? Like real life ghosts? Do we have any books for nut jobs, I guess? Nope, this is good. Research is good. Confront the problem head on. You're not losing it, dude. You're in fact keeping it. Very close. Okay, May's dialogue is weirdly close to what my internal dialogue's like, and I don't like it. When there's an open house, but there's always that one room, trademark, the agent cannot let you see. Oh, helpful tip for everyone. If you ever want to put the TM symbol, hold down ALT 0153 with numlock on. Hey, hun. Yeah? Come say hello, oh, why don't you? Oh uh, yep, yeah. uh, last night they obviously had a bit of a fight over May dropping out. Hey hun. Hey mum. You look really tired. So do you. Also I have a splitting headache. Well, the weather seems to agree with you. Grey and drizzly. No less 
May is a walking personal attack. Yeah, you're right. I could go. I could go for that today. Hey, hun. Yeah. Sorry about yesterday. Me too. I said some stuff. I didn't really mean it. Well, whether you meant it or not, that isn't how we should communicate. I don't want us to stop talking. I just don't want to repeat it a few years ago. Okay, what happened a few years ago? I'm really sorry, Mum. About all of it. Hey, May. You okay? I'm fine. I guess I'm stressed too. Saw some weird stuff last night. Or I think I did. Wanna talk about it? Later. I'm still like putting it together. Yeah, no, less I like Overcast as well, to be honest. Uh, I guess uh, you could say I like most precipitation as long as I'm not caught in it. Can we talk about school? Also later. Yep, for those who are not aware, uh, May's the entire thing is that she dropped out of university and came back home. So, what are you so stressed about? Well, I guess you're a grown-up now. Just spill it, Mum. After your incident a few years back. As you know, we went into some depths moving that over. Jeez, I'm still so sorry about that. It's in the past. Let's not go back over it. Okay. When it came time to get you off to school, we took advantage of a kind of mortgage to make sure you were taken care of. Okay. Well, it turns out it wasn't a very good deal. And I just feel so stupid. They like to offer these mortgages to people who maybe don't have a lot of money and aren't used to getting offers like this. Why? Because the bank took advantage of us. And now they own a house and we owe them more than it's worth. What does that mean? It means we're not sure how long into the future we'll have the house. Holy crap, we're in trouble, huh? And I'm a huge jerk. It's okay, sweetie. Don't worry. Yep, this game is way too real. Yeah, Rain is inspiring to write bass guitar tabs too. I suppose it helps that it's a very even rhythm, isn't it? What you reading? It's a book of unsolvable murders. Did they all happen? Oh, I don't know, maybe sure. Wanna hear about a real teaser? Sure. Not right now, got a jet. All right, there's a man lying dead in a kitchen with a bullet wound in his head. There's a man there with him. He's got some blood on his right hand, but no gun. Huh? Last thing, the dead guy has a scar on the back of his head. Do you know the answer? Well, I don't know if there's one answer. It's supposed to get you thinking. About murder? You should have been a detective. Can't serve a murder without one. Okay, so I have a question. What kind of scar do Wait, what kind of scar does the dead guy have? Who's the other guy in the room? What else is in the room? Normal stuff. Refrigerator. That refrigerator. Microwave. Silverware. Knives? No knife wounds, though. Oh, right. Icky foo. It was aliens. Okay, I think I got it. Wow, what you got? The guy in the room is a surgeon. He implanted a magnet in the dead guy's skull. That's why he has that scar. Then the suspect used a super magnet or something on the dead guy's forehead. <laughs> we should pull the magnet out through the guy dude's head. Okay, Kiara, I hope you have a coral day. Oh, you got me doing it now. Don't know if you're at work or what, but yeah. <laughs> That's why he has blood on one hand. Yep, and I bet the murder weapons are stuck to the fridge. Holding up a pic of Aunt Dossie. Oh, bravo, Sweezy. Thank you, thank you. We'd make quite a pair of investigators. Could open a detective agency in town. Could use one right now, probably. Always work for crime solvers. Alright, I'm going to get going. 
Love you, daughter detective. You too, Inspector Mum. Ah. <coughs> okay, let's see what else we got out here today then. Okay, the little blue. Oh, it's. Yeah, they've changed the um, environment to match the weather. Can keep up with your squirrel. Can't run from me. Okay, I should probably stop chasing the squirrel around, shouldn't I? Or should I? Oh well. There's the rest of the game to be had, isn't there? How's it going, Selmers? How's your Halloween? Weird. Went to Harfest. Saw some messed up shit that I think was real. Then I had a really bad nightmare. Cool. I stayed in and what ate candy and watched TV. Halloween episodes were on. Well, I was out living a Halloween episode, okay? Whoa. Yep. Wanna hear a new poem? Nah, maybe another time. Sure. Awesome winds, awesome sins, okay? Awesome times, awesome crimes. What counts as an awesome sin? What's considered an awesome crime? Cheating on your wife. Uh, cheating on your wife? With some gas station skank? In November? Alright, oh, yeah, that's uh, inconsiderate. Uh, yeah, just uh, basically at the start of the game, there was a conversation where her ex was um, basically cheated on her with a girl he met in the gas station. Hey, Mr. Chazikov. Yes, Selma? You're going to break your neck someday. i make sure I force of all right on you. Heh <laughs> well I'm a big enough target. Heh <laughs> I'm bigger than you, so we should be covered. You too. Leaves, leaves, leaves. Is that a poem? Nope. Okay, let's see what he's got to say today. The missus varnish this por porch yourself. Don't go tracking mud all over it. Hmm, should Selma be bringing what up? I guess it's perfectly fair for her to bring up the fact her ex cheats on her, isn't it? Is what a target that looks like me? Do you mean this? Uh, that's a tombstone that I'm jumping in front of right now. I know there's a bit of audio lag. Question, why does the tombstone look like May? Foreshadowing? Or maybe it's just because um, some people just look like cats in this game. Dunno, dunno how it works. Are some people in this game literally just cats or do they just look like cats or... Well, anyway. Miss me, Borowski. Present. Mm, smell the awesome winds. Yeah, hard to miss it. One should not miss such a thing. Talking of. Want to see some stars? Yeah. Now you can't even remember how the opening riff to Weird Awesome went, so you're not going to remember what it reminds you of. 
Wow. Come have a look. Ugh, I'm not in a voice mood today, am I? Yeah, I'm blind. This is your own fault at this point, I would say. Found one. Let's see. Snake. Big snake. Big snake? Yep. Anything else? I saw a big snake once. Horrible things. At the zoo? In scouts we were hiking, and one was setting itself on a rock. What a treat! I was thinking it's rare to see a snake just randomly relaxing. What's up with this one? Big snake emerged from the earth and made war upon the villagers. What villagers? You know, villagers. Okay. As he wrapped himself around them, the villagers saw that they were encircled by the same big snake. And they came together, and together they slew the big snake. You learn. Why did big snake attack the people? Do you have sympathy for the big snake? Geez, I don't know, but we just keep saying big snake. Big snake. Big snake. Big snake. Big snake. Random thing. Why does the English accent do that? All with a vowel sound after it becomes or. I'm not sure. What do you mean? All with a vowel sound after it becomes or. Awesome, as in awesome, you mean? Good question. I think it's just one of those, that's just how the language works things. As to where it comes from, I'd guess either Anglo-Saxon or Latin, but who knows. Just now, I saw a large snake once. No offence or whatnot. Like in Witcher, Law of Surprise has only ever said Law of Surprise. Wait, how else do you say the word law? It's pronounced the same as the word law. You know, law, what is it good for? Expert world building. Star located, Captain. Let's consult the guide. Oh, you'll like this one. Really? Because they're dead. Oh yeah, I'm into it. Gramercy the medium. In life he spoke with the dead. Really? Who knows. But when he died, his own spirit returned and spoke through him. Wait, what? <coughs> Wait, that's dumb. How so? That's just called being alive. How did... Wait, what? Not so, his body was dead. So he was like a zombie? But just as smart as before. No looking for brains. So like normal but he smelled bad. Or maybe your what's name standard for whatever deciding an English accent is making an R sound is too generous because you're all barely pronounced R sounds. No idea what you're talking about. Doubly weird, the further north you go in the UK, the more rhotic the accents get. Oh yeah, that's true. <coughs> it's actually the opposite in America because, of course, um, most of the English-speaking parts of the southern United States were settled by people from the north. For various historical reasons. Threshold. Your mental threshold for that's an R sound is too generous. So, you're saying every year uh, Britain sounds like a pirate to you, Nolus? Yarmiati is. Let's do piratey things like 
I do not know anything about boats, so... Yar. Actually, that's not true. I do know a bit about how buoyancy works. Which I actually yeah, learnt in primary school by reading a book. And then uh, once when a teacher asked a question about mathematics. I put up my hand and said, Please miss, I uh, don't know the answer to the question but I know something about boats. And that actually seemed like a very sensible thing to do but apparently it wasn't and I got in trouble. The end. Let's do things related to boots. Something booty, if you will. I see what you did there, and I appreciate it. Just so. Why'd they uh, make this guy into a star? I have no idea. I guess it's kind of impressive. Dumb, but impressive. So what's the moral of this one? <coughs> moral? Yeah, usually star things like this have some sort of moral. Sometimes, things are just strange. Like life. That's the moral? <laughs> That's our pair for the day. Well, Jean Wilkers, Mr. Chazikoff. <laughs> Wilkers. Like the mirror, you say Mira, and we say Mira? 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 Mira. There's no one. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm just going to say mirror as mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Not me. But that's besides the point. Mirror, er. Uh, mirror, mirror. Which is actually the Latin word for look at me. Wow, that was pretty great. Yes, it was. More in a couple of days. Snake and Gramercy. So, how many stars are there? What? I mean, the ones we're looking for. Should be a few left. Who can say? We can only point our telescopes and look. Okay, let's just assume I pronounce words and uh, go with that. So yeah, it must be your brain overcompensating for English folk not pronouncing R's at the end of words. Well, don't be a s about it. You should see what happens with some of, some of our accents do with the lesser T. Okay, so... Looks like that uh, sign's disappeared. Casey's still missing. The ball is still bouncy. Yep, them little stops. Which ironically are uh, stereotypically elfish. Can I steal some more? No. Oh, hey, Miss Rosa. Oh, hello, May. Feeling better? As well as is to be expected, I suppose. That's good. Did you want to talk about... Your grandfather? Yeah. Bosom Springs was built on our backs and the backs before us. Time was they didn't pay the people in real money. Paid in little tokens and bills stamped with the company name. Go to the company store for company goods. Back in school they showed us some of those. Weird quarters and stuff. Your grandfather remembered. His daddy experienced it first hand. My boss came into town driving a big fancy car. Nice to meet your grandfather. Real bastard that boss. God forgive him. Your grandfather runs out of the dance. I think he was a bit drunk. Or just stupid in some brave way. He shouts, The guts of all bosses! He all of a sudden has a hunting knife from somewhere, and he slashes the boss's tyres. <laughs> wow. Picks up a rock, puts it through the windshield, then he climbs up. I'm sorry, this part is a bit rude. 
Holy shit, don't stop. He peers through the windshield hole. Okay, that is direct action. Uh, Glossal stops stereotypically elvish, not dwarven. If anything, the stereotypical elvish accent is actually just British, or maybe American. Yeah, but if you look at elven names for things, they have loads of, uh, like, commas in it. Wait, loads of apostrophes in it. Just to show you how mysterious and magical they are. Like, if you want to make a name elfish, There's my often name for you, chat. Vected Brish. Elvish is basically Finnish. To be fair, I think um, Tolkien actually based it on a combination of um, Finnish and Welsh, because that was his. Uh, those were, what, in his, his opinion, one of the most beautiful sounding languages. Actually, no, I think he sort of created it as a con lag, heavily inspired by Welsh, and actually found that finish was pretty close to what he wanted. So yeah, there's your fact for the day. Glossal stops always make you think of a Scottish accent. Hey, laddie. I cannot do a Scottish accent. I won't even try, even though I'm trying here. Every time I try to do an accent, it actually turns into a Welsh accent, and I can't actually do a Welsh accent, so it doesn't actually sound like anything. Boyo. Anyway. And he pees through the windshield hole. This is amazing. Did they catch him? Nah, just me and a few other folks saw it. I trot over to him, and we run off down the alley. Past the AOK drugstore. Big field, big parking lot nowadays. Stars fast and bright. I guess we were both pretty drunk. One thing led to another. Okay. Wait. When was this? A uh, very long time ago. Was he? So, what happened with the car? Got towed away. Police couldn't get no witnesses. We weren't snitches about that kind of thing. I went almost seven American for that for a couple of bits there. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Damn right. So, like I said, you got troublemaker blood. <laughs> Jeez, I never knew this. I don't think your daddy even knows. I bet not. You gonna tell him? Wait, you gonna tell him? Yes. No. Yes. Hey, Firestarter, how's it going? Uh, thanks for dropping by. Now remembering a drunken conversation, wondering why you used a glottal stop on the last tea and potato, but not the first. Texan, maybe? Well, I can't do a Texan accent, so there's that. You, uh, just did a dumb. I saw, you saw what happened if you slightly bounced up and down, and all you have to say is, ow. I don't follow. Sometime. Maybe. I wanted to pass this story along to you. It was one night, one thing he did. In a lifetime of nights of things and things he did. What you want to do with that is part of your story now. I can't talk much more for today. I'd like to know more about him. This was crazy. I'll see you, mate. Sooner or later. Okay. Bye, Miss Rosa. Bye for now, Millie Borowski. Alright, yeah, I know exactly what fire starter means right now. So, um, a few moments into HRT, of course, uh, your uh, chest starts budding, and for the first time in your life, you actually feel something there. You re realise it's kind of cool that it wobbles a bit, and then you make it wobble, and ouch.
okay, May. Embarrass yourself in front of the kids again. Hey, uh, kind of a weird question, but is anyone missing? What? Like, anyone you know who was out last night and didn't come back? Uh, I don't think so. What's going on? Uh, nothing. I thought I, nothing. I thought I saw something. Okay, uh, you should tell us if this is something. Just be careful, okay? Keep an eye out. And let me know if you see anything weird, okay? I mean, you'll hang out together constantly. You're safer than anyone else I know. You've learnt your lesson, Firestarter. But will you learn from it? I say this as a complete and utter disaster of a trans woman. To be fair, May scares everyone. I can relate. That's right, Froy. TSMR. Remember, this is the only channel where you'll get a uh, guaranteed TSMR every stream. Yeah. The day I realised if I wanted to get ex any exercise I needed a sports bra was the best and worst day of my life. Yeah, I keep meaning to get a TSMR emote uh, sorted out, but I'm not really sure. Because um, it's not really something I can really photograph, so I want to maybe, uh, yeah, I might just um, see if I can find someone to, you know, just pay someone to draw one for me. A teacup kettle with headphones around it, maybe. Or maybe um, just a tea being poured in front of a microphone. Okay, whoa. Is, something, is someone moving in? Probably something dumb. I miss you, pizza place. Ah. Video outpost two. It's Angus. You up for band practice in a bit? I guess. Weird night. How so? I'll tell you about it later. Ear twitch. All oh, right, I can't remember what the um, specs are, but uh, Twitch um, specifies three different sizes for emotes. So you basically have to do it in, I think the largest is 128 pixels, uh, but I'm not entirely certain. Yeah, I'll have to remember to get to hear some more emotes sorted out. Alright, I said this at the beginning of the stream, by the way, but, um... Yeah, feel free to, uh... Yeah, that's it. 28 pixels, 56 and 112. Oh, thank you, Firestarter. I'm sort of trying to push my voice a bit into my nose. Had a bit of a cough last couple of months, so I've not really had a chance to practice as much as I'd like. Hey, Bay. Hey, uh. Thanks again for last night. I owe you one. It's fine, it was fun. My night like got. Like, really weird and bad after. How so? i tell you, tell you later, I guess. Still like putting it together. Okay, well let me know how that goes. I will. Ah, oh, thanks for seconding it, Nolis. I think it's band practice day. Yeah, I'm going to hunt down Greg. Shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, no, he's at the Snack Falcon. Don't know how that guy stays employed. 
He steals constantly, but breaks supplies for fun, and leaves work whenever he wants. Greg plays by his own rules. It feels more like the world plays by his rules. Whoa! I don't even know what that means. Still, whoa! Ah, oh, come on, Bay. You're in uh, retail management. You know how bloody hard it is to fire someone. War is some bullshit. You hear me, statue? I guess you were drafted. Ugh. You died before you got to enjoy the statue they made of you. It's garbage. Okay, everything this game has to say is either super funny, uh, makes you feel called out, or woke as a AF, as the kids say. Freud, you really love the colour pass in this game when it's raining. Yeah, I kind of like this muted, muted pastel effect, actually. They can't make me go to war. I'll go underground. I'll join some sort of group that's against war and stuff. We'll blow up war stuff and sabotage other war stuff. I'll live in the shadows for decades. No address. Always on the run. Living in a trailer in the desert. It'll be awesome. May will go to war against war. The meta war. Fairly sure you've been that only employee and then quit. Yeah, I'm in two minds about that. No, less to be honest, on the one hand, I'd love to be that employee and just get away with it. On the other, I've had to pick up the slack where that employee's um, concerned, so... <sighs> on the one hand, you want to be that guy. On the other hand, you don't want to be that guy. It's wet again, and I'm cold again. It's just rain. Hey, uh, why are we still standing out here? Someone has to. You got it, NPC Brigade. A <laughs> okay, drugs and malt. If I got a statue, I'd have them make me really tall. That's fair. I mean, the only way I can't relate to um, May here is, um, obviously, I'm not very short. I am 69 inches tall. So, today's not my last day. Oh, we're gonna miss you. Oh dear, we're gonna miss you. It happened so fast. Let us know how it is. I will. I'll come visit can't leave you two to fend for yourselves. Oh dear, what are we going to do without you? You'll want to go see a movie or something? Yeah, let me get settled in. And we can go, out, go on an outing. And you'll see me whenever you go for groceries. That's true. I ain't going far. Not far at all. Coffee. Cigarettes. I wonder if the uh, next chapter is going to have a subplot where she hates her new job and wants to go back. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, the standards for a good employee can be quite low. Pretty much uh, anyone, will, anyone will do, as long as they're not actively um, getting in the way of other people doing their job. Well, to be fair, there's quite a lot of people who are quite good at their... Uh, you found my channel by someone recommending me through a Geek Remix Bug Snacks video. I think you saw my username. Oh yeah, I'm a mod on uh, Geek Remix's uh, Twitch channel and uh, Discord. So yeah, you probably saw me around there. In fact, you might it might have actually been me who recommended myself. In my defence, I didn't uh, like say, "Oh, go to bisected brioche." I just gave a list and uh, said, "Oh, and me." In brackets, honest. Hey, hey, church mum. 
a heathen daughter. Oh, I'll make it here someday. But come on, seriously? No one likes getting up on Sunday. I find it to be very enriching. Your father does too, mostly. But he attends, and that's important. He knows it means a lot to me. Alright, well, guilt thoroughly trips. You do work for the church. That's not what faith is like, hun. There's more grace than condemnation. Kinda, whatever, alright, I'm out. See you later, sweetie. So, yep, uh, that's my uh, technique for streaming. Basically hang around on bigger, better channels and um, slowly uh, draw viewers off them. Like some sort of viewer parasite. I don't feel right about it. I know, but sometimes the right thing doesn't feel right. I just think it's wrong to take something when folks don't want you to take it. Well, I feel like God would see this differently. I do at least. Mm. That's because you're a good person. Life is strange spiral hot dog. Life is strange spiral hot dog. You're going to pirate a newer version of Photoshop or at least a less glitched one. This one brings up the user agreement every time you open it, which hopefully it's not supposed to. Yeah, I think the uh, newer version of um, Photoshop's uh, on a uh, license agreement, so I'm not sure how that works. Fire starter 3D, you're the kid in this situation. You hated going to church, mostly because of the stuffy clothes. If the casual wear, if casual wear was socially okay, you'd have been more up for it. Nolas, you're lucky. Your dad hates the idea of going to church, so your mum never pushed hard enough for her to go. Well, here, um, religion's not really a major thing. My parents did take me to church on, like, occasionally Christmas or something, but I was never particularly religious. Neither were my parents, and that was that. I guess the thing about British culture is it's kind of weird to be uh, openly religious. Like, a lot of people are sort of culturally Christian, so if they're, they're asked, they'll say, yes, I'm Christian. But far more people are okay saying, yeah, they don't really have any religion. You know, if they just follow Christian traditions, because that's the uh, majority in this country. Hey, hey. Hey again. Hey. So I had this really bad dream last night. Me too. I dreamed it was a pizza. And I was afraid someone would slice me. Jeez. It's just like that episode of Power Rangers. Yep. This just makes me sad we don't have a pizza place anymore. Got to order it out from the out by the highway now. Tragic. I had a dream I was a goose flying south and I had to keep up with the other gooses, or I'd get lost. That's sad. It weren't a good dream. What are you all talking about? Big meeting coming up. City Council. Yep. About? Uh, about Bruce here. Wow, that's intense. Fast starter grew up in the American South. Yeah. <sighs> Sounds a bit rough. I mean, here, obviously, the, uh, it's very, well, you know, the UK is known for being very turfy. But at least they they have to sort of disguise their contempt for trans people. School was weird in that regard. You got a pretty decent religious education classes, but you sang Christian hymns every Christmas. Yes. My school experience is the same. Our religious studies was a uh, yeah. We had a really good teacher for it, and I actually did a 
did it for GCSE just for that reason. I think my GCSE covered uh, Christianity and Hinduism. But uh, we'd routinely have um, like people from the church down to give a sermon and tell us off uh, thinking religion wasn't for us. I was kind of an edge lordy atheist. Ironically, the um, religious studies teacher was actually the one who sort of made me realise I was maybe being a bit of a dick about it. But that's besides the point. Wow, that's intense. We'd appreciate your prayers. This is precisely the kind of time where God shows up. Hope so. Me too. Okay, one of the Pentacle kids is still around here. Your homeschool computer program thing had a Bible subject in it. You paid about as much attention as it, to it as everything else on it. None. The only class you ever took that taught anything about non-Christian religions was a college course you chose to take. Fair enough. I think the best thing uh, my religious studies did was uh, basically... Um, for GCSE we studied Christianity, but we sort of studied it as like you would any other religion. So it was very much... Christian mythology this and this is what the different branches of Christianity believe and this is how you spot a cult using Christian derived themes I mean to be fair the only hint about how big uh, sort of religion was in America was the Simpsons and I always assumed they were just sort of comedically exaggerating it, or something. I love that every time you jump up there, there's that... There's, there's that guy hanging out and um, the dog barking. Okay, let's see how the rat babies are doing. Look at them. Plastic flowers are like super depressing for some reason. Dead flowers are less depressing than plastic ones. Well, not like hardcore cult busting sort of thing, but we just went over the basics of, um, you know, what made a cult a cult, and that they tended, and basically it was more like a sort of thorough explanation that even though a cult can claim to be Christian, it probably isn't actually very Christian, you know, and also that um, a lot of Christ Christians weren't very Christian. You avoid the Simpsons, to be honest, but from what you've seen, they're harsh, but don't exaggerate by much. Fair enough. To be honest, I uh, don't think I've seen the Simpsons for a long time myself. You can actually tell someone's age by the uh, Simpsons jokes they make. Fire starter, this game looks relaxing. It's super relaxing. I mean, there's an overarching plot, but it's mostly very slice of life. What's up, dude? Uh, uh. Long night, weird night. What's up? I'll tell you at band practice. Cool. What you up to? Just saying hello. We're gonna head out to band practice. Just saying hello. Hello. I completely forgot what voice I was... Yeah, no, less. it's hella vibe when you don't feel attacked. All you have at this point is osmosis. Couldn't tell you the plot of a single full of Simpsons episode. Okay, 
First ever broadcast episode of The Simpsons. Simpsons roasting over an open fire. Hey, dude. Hey, you. Working here now? Yep, sucks. But it pays. Question, how do they fit a kitchen down there? Barely. What do you do here? Realman and janitor. I cook and mop. At the same time? Yes. So, Simpsons roasting on an open fire. Uh, let's see. Christmas. Park gets annoyed. Accidentally burns down the Christmas tree and hides it outside. Panics and tells his family that um, they were robbed. The family um, mentioned this to various people and everyone rallies around them and helps replace their Christmas gifts. Including a car. A new car. Which they promptly, act, Homer act, promptly accidentally um, tries driving around on some ice and it ends up at the bottom of a lake. Reactor of guilt, Bart confesses, and they decide they have no choice but to hide and cover it up. But then Santa's little helper pulls out their dog, pulls out. You know, I think I'm actually getting this mixed up with the uh, a different episode. Can't remember. Is it a different episode? Because I know there's one where um, they adopt Santa's little helper after Homer blows all their money after working as a mall Santa. And there's another one where they uh, Bart destroys their Christmas presents. They accidentally trick everyone to uh, giving them charity. And then everyone's mad at them. Okay, yeah. Basically, I think all my knowledge of the Simpsons episodes have merged into one. Especially the Christmas episodes. Be right back, getting food. Happy eats, Nolas. Yes, mopping and cooking at the same time is not sanitary. And if I caught someone doing that at work, I'd put a stop to it. Hey. Sup, kid. Sniff, sniff. You smell weird. Why's my aunt's car here? That's your aunt. Yeah. Oh, weird. That makes you like half cop. You'll never catch me, half copper. Ha <laughs> I don't know what they're doing up there. Huh? You go to half -est? Nah, over it. Cool, I had a kind of a weird time. Weird bad time, actually. It's a guaranteed weird bad time. Yeah. Are those people from yesterday still here? Dunno. We're not, like, good friends or anything. Oh yeah, I don't know why I thought you'd know. I was wondering if they ever met Casey. Out there somewhere. I can ask. I used to ask. I just hate thinking about him all out there all by himself. Oh, Casey's tough. He'll be fine. When you got to get out, you got to get out. Yeah, I guess. Well, see you at band practice. Real talk, do you actually like watching us play? Yeah, I mean you're not good, but yeah, not my style. What is your style? Black like metal, uh, trash crossover, hip hop. I like Witch Tiger, they're kind of metal. Oh yeah, like that Doom shit, right? Da da da. Totally. What? You know, one time a guy followed me home. Like a guy from the tracks. What? Okay, whatever. I gotta get going. What'd you do? It was like some night back in the summer, and out of the corner of my eye, I could see this dude take this turn out of the parking lot and start creeping up the hill, like 50 feet back. But like, I didn't want to look right at him. Ah! Ah! I took a detour through the woods and sat in a tree. It was getting dark, but like. I could see him standing just off the road, waiting for me to come down. Oh my god! Holy shit! What'd you do? After it got dark, I climbed down and got up the hill real quick. Ah! 
Yeah, it was a weird bad time. Ugh. I'm so upset right now. <laughs> I know, right? See ya. Okay, Jeb. But Did he just walk through the stairs? Did Jerm just walk through the stairs? You can only find a one hour extended version of this music. Well, one ten hour version with ambient rain. That one might work. Yeah, it's a good song. Okay, let's see what's going on with her. What were you doing out here last night? I saw someone kid that someone, like a kid. What were you doing out here last night? Vagrant reporters of. That's why. All this. Might have just been someone saw you out here. Your turn. I saw a kidnapping. Tell me what you saw again. Someone in a big old coat with someone over their back. Uh-huh. And you chased them down here. Yeah, and I got to the fence and they were up in the woods. Alright, thank you, May. Uh, I knew you were just going to brush this off. May, there have been no missing person reports. That tends to happen when a kid goes missing from something like Harvest. Hell, I got six calls about kids out too late. There would have been a report. I'm reporting. This right here. This is a report. May, there's no break in the fence. So? So unless someone could jump this thing while carrying a teenager who hasn't been reported as missing. Any theories, May? No? They could have gone around the fence? I don't know, May. This fence goes up out along the parking lots, almost to the tracks, for you to be right behind them, and then to be miraculously on the other side of the fence? Ugh. <sighs> I was running around half the night, getting after teenage bullshit. And people scared of clotheslines and noises. Fast starters theory is parkour expert. Okay, to be clear, um, obviously, um, this is a this is a blind let's play, so uh, no spoilers. I, it, uh, are you trying to kick off, kick off a horror movie? No one believes the girl who saw the ghost. Well, I have bad news for you. The cop always dies. I'm sorry, we're talking about a ghost now. It must have gotten through the fence. Really, May? No, yes, I don't know. Can you repeat the question? You're not the boss of me now. I'm really tired. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Will you at least check the woods? May, me and Dan McConnell were up there this morning because of what you said last night. From the fence up to the old mine, we found a couple of teenagers on a gross mattress. We saw some worry looking deer, and one deer hunter out too early. That can't be it. That is it. The cop always dies. Kind of like how uh, this is just basically a slice of life. A loads of slice of life vinig vin no, vignettes. And there's just sort of a slow burn murder mystery going on. You've never watched any Let's Plays of this game before, so you don't know if your theory is right or not. You're just saying the parkour thing is a joke. Ah, that's fair enough. I mean, to be fair, May's pretty parkour. I'd argue she is more parkour than Mirror's Edge. Do you have a triple jump in Mirror's Edge? I think not. Okay, I think that's about all I can do for today. So, what are you up to? Just saying hello. We're going to head out to bang practice. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, come on, you song. Anything to say, Jerm? Back to watch this fiasco again, huh? Yep. You're only fan, Jerm. I'm just here to be entertained. 
I'm a gentleman of leisure. Nice. Hey, dude. You okay? You look tired. Uh, I was up all night. Uh, fixing the roof door. And it was super loud. Uh, you got chicken in the microwave, no less? Uh, yep, you're just in time for band practice. Other than that, uh, may just complain to her auntie that the cop that she wasn't taking her sighting of a mysterious kidnapper seriously. Roof door? Yeah, the door at the roof that, at the top of the stairs that goes out to the roof. Now I can like, I don't know, run from that door down to the lobby, in the lobby, up to the roof and pee off the side of the building? Yeah, maybe not. But what's to stop random people from doing that too? Dude, it'll be fine. Sorry, I'm just tired. Fair? Ready to go? Yeah, let's do this shit. Pumpkin head guy. Help, 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 help. Help, 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 help. Yeah, I like the story, Greg. I think I like this song. Despite being terrible at it. Help. Exes and triangles are hard. Inside his past, life goes away, he comes back too fast. Oh my god, there's so many buttons to press. Welcome back, Freud. You just uh, came back in time for me to murder a soul. Ah, jeez. Yeah, that was kind of not good. Phew. So fast. You just pushed a button. I'm so tired. I strained my vocal cords yelling. Awesome. I'm going to sound so husky. And anyway, I don't even know if they're dreams or not. And this guy, who I think was a ghost, kidnapped some kid and I also think I was in my head after, while I was sleeping. And anyway, yeah, I need to think I need to do something, because this is scary. Well, that's not what I was expecting to hear tonight. Are you okay, dude? Yeah. No. I'm kind of freaked out. Probably it wasn't a ghost. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, definitely. <sighs> okay, fine. I'll figure, go figure this out myself. Oh, dude, don't be like that. You got us. Ah, oh, dudes. Okay, fine. So, we need to maybe see... If there's like some ghostly stuff ha happening around here, like from a source we can trust, such as, does the newspaper have like a ghost section? What? Why is that a dumb question? Heck yeah! The Scoobies are forming up. You know, we could go check the library. For books about it? No. They have the local paper on file, going back a century. If there's some secret history of kidnapper ghosts, we'll find it there, probably. Oh wow, I didn't even know they had that. I thought it was just like a broken down old bunch of books. 
when's the last time you were at the library? We actually have one of the nicer ones around. Oh, how? Rich, you'd have paid for it way back when. Yeah, they set up a foundation and... Never mind, let's go. Can we regroup after? Uh, uh... Sure. Okay, we'll be back. Woohoo, ghosties. That's the spirit. Okay, Nolus. To the library. I do not know what my voice is doing right now, but it's doing. Look, jobs. Weird, like, when this was painted it was like, hey, look out the window. We're all working. Things are great. Now it's like, one of the graffiti mural, mural, bleh, murals after someone gets hit or shot by a car. This mur bleh, mural, bleh, mural, I c why can't I say the word mural anymore? This mural's really affecting you. I forget that we live in separate realities. Mine's clearly better. Pumpkin. Head guy. Dead. It's a bear. Hey. Closing in two hours. Okay, cool. Have I seen the show Hilda? No, but I've heard a lot of good things about it, and I keep meaning to see it. Any idea where the microfish is? Microfish. Microfish. Third floor. Okay, thanks. Up, up, up. Slow night. Yep. Spooky here all alone. I'd be spooked. Yeah. Larry's wandering around here somewhere. Not gonna lie. Um, the uh, sort of me uh, cheerful but uh, not quite well grounded and um, weary but apathetic combo is my favourite character dynamic. Is Hilda what they put on Netflix recently? I think it's been out for quite a while, so I'm not sure. I think it was an Amazon original. Looks like someone left something open on this one. It's a resume. Bob Targ, born 1967. 50 years old. Let's see. Experience, mining, construction, well drilling. Never think about getting a job when I'm old. 50's not really old. I mean, you should have money then, right? Ideally. It should be like, guaranteed. Should be like, should be guaranteed in general. You going to join my young socialists chatterbox group? Embrace the cause. May, you have nothing to lose except your chains. Okay, is that burger pants? Burger pants undertale. Holy crap! What? It's Charity Berity. What's Charity Berity? How do you not know Charity Berity? I assume this is something from school. The school of being five frickin' years old? Alright. So this was a thing you liked as a kid. No, I hated Charity Berity. It does look really hateable. It was like... You were kidnapped by a cult. You were under some curse. Where a cute thing followed you around. 24-7. Yelling about, like, sharing and not littering, and paying taxes. Well, that's an important, uh, skill. I was five. I'm 20 now and I still haven't paid taxes. 
Charity Verity goes to a state infrastructure budget meeting. The budgeting meeting. Ugh, I always forget the worst part. It always rhymes. Charity Verity. Oh no, austerity. What's that? Reason the bridges in and out of Salts Town are being closed. Oh wow, you can't like go to Salts Town? You're welcome to try. Jeez, it sure made a lot of these books. Yep, no less. It's cool, cat. Except apparently successful. Tax evasion. IRS will now be after May. I think they're still making them. This one looks pretty old. Charity Berity. Danger everywhere, is he? That's vague and disconcerting. Could have just been updating that one book. Going up, going down. Let's go up to the next floor then. <laughs> oh wow, it's dusty up here. It's old up here. Sure is. Maybe your ghost is up here. Yep. Ghost, or something. Whatever he was, he walked through a chain link fence, or flew over it, or something, while carrying something. All oh, right. Well, that's even more impressive. You have overestimated how much chicken you acquire, Nolus. So we're gonna have to find this guy, because he took someone, and he's like somehow connected to all this thing I've been going through, and that's not good. That all sounded a lot more badass in my head. It's okay. It was fine. Bay is such a supportive girlfriend. To our weird butch midget. Well, no, you could always send some chicken this way. Just them. Not sure how, but you could. Right, there she is. Cool. So, I have no idea how to use it. Really? May, you went to college. I can't know how to do everything. I'm sorry, but what expertise have you brought to this thus far? This whole thing was my idea. No, your idea was ghost hunting. My idea is to do at least a tiny bit of research on it. If you think it's so stupid, why are you here? Because you're my friend, you asshole. Ah. <sighs> ah, we friends, be twists. Here, let me get this set up. We'll be here all night if your dumbass is in charge. Well, that's not true at all. You'll be kicked out at in two hours. You would. It's in strips, but I guess your brain went, okay, they're in big nuggets then. And put as many strips as you would usually eat nuggets, so that now you have twice as what you normally eat. Yep. Woo. Me knows how to talk. Woo. 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 Yep, unlike certain other streamers, I cannot do an oo woo voice. Alright, so what are we looking for? Wait, alright. So what are we looking for? I want to steer. No. Move, I'm steering. Ow. Jeez, me. I'm sorry. Okay, 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 okay. How do we do this? <sighs> you have a friend in the your in real life with the name May. Do they speak fire starter? Nurse inquires. Step one, look at the screen. Step two. Move around and look at stuff. Step three, find ghost. Sure. K 
Okay, this is going to take a while to read. Tragedy at Stafford Mine. An explosion occurred at 6.20am at the Stafford Mine. All workers ceased while men attempt to rescue any survivors. So far, three men have been pulled out alive with 20 dead. The explosion occurred 10 miles deep in the mine and only one group of men were able to escape before the elevator's rope snapped. And the next group of men plummeted to their death. So far, hopes of finding more survivors is low. The main path to the tunnel caved in due to the explosion and supervisors are still attempting to piece together exactly where everyone was during the accident. You could ask, but I don't, you don't know how they'd respond to that question. Events. The last trolley on Mickets run, September the 4th. Bernie Goss, the longest employee with 25 years as an operator, will pick up passengers starting at the Market Street tunnel entrance and will end at the trolley garage where, the, where light refreshments will be served and a speech will be given by the congressman, Archibald Reed. Twin Club will be meeting at the Stags on Wednesday night at 6pm. This month's craft will be knitted hats for the soldiers along with a plot luck. All mothers of twins of any age are welcome. The Stanley T. Possum statue has officially opened to the public and we have to say we are smitten. For two cents, one can enter Stanley and spend quite a lovely time looking at the Possum Springs of yesteryear in the museum. Enjoying some popcorn and fresh lemonade in the snack parlour decorated with Tiffany glass electric lights. Before heading up a full ten feet to see the sights of our beloved town through the eyes of this grand possum. Oh, it's grand possum. There is even a beautiful train diorama that will both delight young and old. We predict Stanley T. Possum will be a sight that all passing through our town will desire to behold and will be sure to draw many crowds. Oh, out of tea. Yep, completely out of tea. That sauce is kicking your white ass. You need more pretzels for your low cap skin tolerance. Oh, you spelled it right. First time. That's good. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Don't get me wrong, I know what the word is and what it's describing. The plant alkaloid that makes chilli spicy. But it's not as easy to spell as piperine. Spectral happenings at Possum Jump. Two local sweethearts were started this past Sunday night as they hang hiked along the wooded overlook known as Possum Jump. According to the lovebirds, at approximately 11.45pm, a figure appeared to walk from the edge of the cliff out into the open air and then disappeared. Forestry workers the next morning were unable to locate evidence of anyone having leapt from the great height, leaving the exact nature of what the two saw a mystery. A decent hug up into the forest, state forest hills, Possum Jump is famous for its beautiful view of the Echo Reservoir. It also holds historical importance as it hosts the lonely graves of several persons involved in the Possum Massacre. Okay. New old store in town centre. The old Pickaxe hardware store is set to have its grand opening on this Saturday. We received a sneak peek of the store yesterday and our town will benefit greatly from the new addition. Roy Burge is bringing 20 years, 25 years of building experience into his new venture and has stocked the shelves with all the nuts, spots and nails you would need for any pro project, plus the latest in tools. Stop by to see the latest in trends from everything, in everything from hand saws to hammers. Best of luck, Mr Burge. Tragedy at Townsfoot Anime. My ADHIs read. <laughs> Possum Massacre. Severe violence broke out at the Stafford Mine strike today. The bosses arrived to attempt to renew talks and were taunted by some of the children present. Rocks were thrown and the National Guard and strike breakers opened fire into the crowds. After a few minutes, the smoke cleared and the gory scene reveals. Nine miners are dead with a dozen more injured. 
A young brother and sister were also shot dead as they were delivering a package of food to their father and uncle. He was on strike below when the shooting broke out. Wait, who was? So he was their uncle and their father? The photograph of the two children, aged seven and nine, who were shot in cold blood, has circulated far outside of the, our little county. The heinous act led to a personal visit from the governor to the strike site to meet with the strikers. Independent inspectors were also brought in and talks finally began. 45 days since the start of the strike, the bosses have agreed to comply with the current safety standards and honour the demands of miners. Yep, quite a lot of tragedies around here. Strange but true, a tale of teeth. Strange but true is our ongoing series about the weird and forgotten aspects of Deep Hollow County. History and culture, published weekly. Bad bosses figure heavily into Possum Springs history, and this morbid tale of crime and secret societies is no exception. Yeah, that is a very violent end indeed. To be fair, this game has quite a lot of social commentary in it. Like uh, Bay, May's uh, friend who's with her at the moment, so um, entire side story is actually about her um, mum dying of cancer and her dad basically uh, shutting down and leaving her to have to run the store herself or getting none of the credit for it. And this morbid tale of crime and secret society is no exception. The story goes, in 1870, a local mine boss was skimming workers on their pay. A group of miners confronted him while he was in the act. He denied everything with many a slur and punched the miners' leader, Darnell Glace, in the face, causing him to lose his last remaining tooth. The miners knew how much Darnie's tooth meant to him and they descended on the boss. A few held the boss down while the others removed all of his teeth with pliers. The teeth were passed out to the miners and a secret society was created with a vow to protect the workers' interests. Ah, oh, May found a tooth in a safe earlier that apparently belonged to her grandfather. Membership was based on owning one of the teeth and each was marked with a symbol of their choosing. These symbols were used around the coal patch to organise meetings and make announcements. The boss survived his attack but never made it named his attackers for fear of implicating himself. When died a few years later, members dug up his grave to retrieve his skull. It was used in ceremonies performed before going out for retribution. All would gather around, place their teeth into the sockets, and later retrieve their teeth after retribution was completed. Upon a member's death, their teeth would be plate passed to a new member. Teeth of members in jail would be left in their sockets until their fates were decided. After the strike of 1889, the society dwindled. Occasionally a descendant of one of these men will find a tooth with strange marking in their home. Strange, but true. Oh, so I guess uh, May's uh, grandfather was a member of that society then. It was established he uh, trashed his boss's car, so direct action. Deep Hollow County mourns. The final group of bodies from the 1888 explosion have been recovered two days shy of the one year anniversary of the tragedy. These five men being a total of dead to 112. Two of the men, Addison Pine and Henry Harvey, were the ones who set off the explosion. Although mine bosses have been informed that gas pockets were present in that section, they elected not to inform Pine and Harvey of the possible danger. The other three bodies belonged to Peter Blesdo, Christian Stanoff, and Peter Lad Jaff Lad Lafer. Peter Lafer's funeral arrangement was rehanded by Father Lizitz, it is, as the man's widow has since returned to Hungary with his two orphans. Not sure how to pronounce that. Point Icky. <laughs> yeah, I remember what caused that. I wonder if that uh, club still meets. Okay. Tragedy at Stafford 
mine. Pie piracy. Dear citizens, please make a note to keep your pies safe during the pleasant weather we're experiencing. Several ladies have reported pies from their kitchens that are disappearing at alarming rates. <gasps> Even worse, the picky culprit is leaving behind only the rhubarb pies. That is a true act of evil. Until this criminal is caught, until the bad brother returns. We remind our housewives to make use of their pie safes indoors or stick to rhubarb. Are pie, pie safes real? The Stanley T. Possum statue, known by residents as Posse, is finally slated for demolition. Posse closed in 1967, but Richard Coulson, son of Samuel, had hopes of refurbishing the statue for new generations. Posse stood silent for close to 60 years, witnessing the beginnings of the demise of the railroad, the mines and the coke works that ushered in his existence. Teams and other vandals broke into Posse over the years, and climbing up through Posse became a rite of passage for many young people in the area. Residents have been torn over what to do of the beloved but their relic structure over the years, but three years ago, pressure began mounting to have it torn down. A storm knocked off Posse's ear and the next yeah, Ralph Jenkins fell from the staircase and broke both legs. Samantha Colson Glick, daughter of Richard, finally agreed that it was time for Posse to go. The demolition will be begin at 12 p.m. on Saturday, and viewing areas will set, be set up at, at a safe distance. Yeah, you're right. Fast start at Rebob is quite bitter. Ah, uh, yeah, the thief has good taste, I guess. Cherry and um. Apple where it's at, although my favourite is actually Blackberry and Apple. No less. A pie safe, also called a pie chest, pie cupboard, kitchen safe and meat safe, is a piece of furniture designed to store pies and other food items. Well, that tracks. The ghost of Little Joe at it again. As the school children are quick to inform you, Possum Springs has at least one resident who won't show up on any census survey. Little Joe, reportedly the uh, ghost of Joe Shade, a miner who died in mysterious circumstances some decade ago, is a favourite spook, st spook story of the whimsical and weird memories of our community. His most recent activities seem to involve getting out of his coffin in the old section of Possum Springs Cemetery and strolling around, unnerving visitors to the graveyard in Deep Hollow County. Pumpkin and Cherry are your favourite. I never actually had pumpkin. I suppose it's sort of quite, um, got sort of a mashed potato quality to it, has it? No mention of their origin being based on assholes stealing them off window stills, so you're forced to assume that's a thing. It does make sense. Here's Grave has become a destination for unruly and often destructive local youths, and as such, Possum Spring City Council is considering erecting an iron gate to protect the historical tombstones that fill a small hollow where Joe Shade lies buried. Police have also stepped up patrols in the area, so be warned for seekers. You may not see a ghost, but you may still see a fine for trespassing. If you had a sweet potato pie, same texture. Yeah, I think if I made myself one of those just for fun. Yeah. Guess that's about right. Progress Springs and Possum Springs. Randolph Stafford, owner of the Bill Holm Wine Works, has partnered with Samuel Coulson, owner of the Coulson Coal Works, Daniel Glick, railroad magnate, and prominent business owner Harrison Shrugest to make some stunning improvements throughout the town. Four men desire to build a model of progressive living right here in Possum Springs. The old miners' double houses on Elm Street were torn down and replaced with spacious single homes. A new elementary school will be opened nearby, along with a new state-of-the-art recreation centre courtesy of Arnold Applebaum. This is in addition to the improvements Randall Stafford promised to the previously striking miners. Samuel Coulson has uh, purchased 10 acres of land on the outskirts of Possum Springs. When we inquired as to what Mr Coulson would use the land for, he would only remark that what was coming here would delight both the young and old for years to come. We are very anxious to be delighted. 
no me gusta pie in general. Okay, well, that's a bad opinion, but it's an opinion nonetheless. Sound off opinion line. We'd like to remind the men of our town to please refrain from spitting on the sidewalk. This unsanitary habit is unsealing beneath you. Women are free to spit because it's actually kind of hot. Parents, please be sure your daughters are not participating in the new trend of shirts showing the ankles. I do not think we need to remind you of which road of brimstone this temporary fashion trend will lead your dear daughters down. What is my opinion on the cheesecake debate? Is cheesecake actually a cake or is it a pie? A cheesecake is its own type of confection. If I had to compare it to anything, I think I'd compare it to a flan, since it's basically just a solid lump of dairy goop. That isn't to say I, I dislike it, it's delicious, but that is where I stand on this. I need to make a flan. I've been witnessing more and more teenage girls coming into our town on Saturday night unchaperoned, using vulgar slang terms, certainly unfit for me to print here, and blocking the sidewalks by walking arm in arm. They are too loud and also flirt with the boys unabashedly while smoking cigarettes. These young ladies need to be stopped before our young ladies get any ideas or our boys fall in with the wrong girl. Young men have been seen around Possum Springs engaging in the ridiculous behaviour of wearing mismatched patterns in their suits. This out type of outfit may be all the rage in Bright Harbour, but good luck getting any disrespectful business around here to employ you. You all look like rabid clowns. Councilman Pachink scares, planned for a third street as a joke. What else is there to say? Dairy goop indeed. I love tiramisu, I love uh, cheesecake, I love flans, I love custard. Why oh, yes, hello up th th there, can you breathe up there on that high horse? Well said, Icky Foo. There's something about the opinion lines in our old newspapers, they are basically their equivalent of YouTube comments. Ghostly rumours haunt New Historical Society. The Possum Springs Historical Society's conversion of the Schriegeist House into its new headquarters and educational centre has hit a snag. Custodial head Jeb Nerbsom has resigned, citing strange occurrences in the old manor. I'd be there after hours during my work and I'd hear someone walking around trying doorknobs. I came out there to see who was fallen, but there was never anyone there, said Nassum. Trying to get this map for an operational for all the children, all the while I'm looking over my shoulder, expecting to see God knows what. Yeah, I guess that's what you meant, Oki. Uh, Mr Nassum had previously requested to work only daylight hours, when other staff were present in the building, but even that proved to be too terrifying. I don't go to, op to the off-limits areas anymore. I don't go up to the past the second floor and then only to the office. I know the others say I'm saying little Joe or something, but they can't they can go spit little Joe for the initial they can all go spit. Got confused with sentences there. Little Joe for the uninitiated uninitiated was the local ghost story popular for some years ago. The Possum Springs Historical Society has refused to comment on Mr. Nisame's claims at this time. Hey, hey, hey! Go spotted! Historical society. Yeah, I've never been. You didn't go back in school? I think this was when I wasn't in school. Oh, after the softball incident. Yeah, mostly just watched TV and did therapy. Well, it's actually a pretty cool old house. Used to be owned by one of the mine owners or something. Railroad, mine, steel, mill, something like that. An actual haunted house? Uh, no. Elementary school kids are there all the time. They have like summer arts and crafts programs. Ah oh, well, still worth checking out. Strike lumbers on. Yep, I was thinking about that uh, whole um, censoring the O out of God. Strike lumbers on. 
Strike is now in its 30th day with no end in sight. The bosses who refuse to meet with the uh, miners saying their demands are too fantastical. The miners claim they are only asking the bosses to adhere to the safety standards that are only in the law. I think I've finally got to the end of these articles, thankfully. The National Guard was called in after the last week's scuffle and the Horse and Coke Works Union has joined the cause which has caused an uptick in the national press arriving at the site. The women's camp has expanded its services from serving meals to beating any non-union miner from entering the mines. So far they've been successful in both ventures. Heck yeah! Don't cross the picket. Underground gases afflict many. The houses of, on Larch Street have been evacuated after the discovery of gas buildup in the basements was found to have led to hallucinations in scattered members of the households. For the past several weeks, residents have been complaining of family members who began hearing voices or seeing things were not there. One older woman was found to have had an animated discussion with an empty chair. When pressed, she calmly explained that she was talking to her sister, who had passed away some 50 years ago. Two nights ago, the son of Carson Zimmer ran out of the house and leapt into the Cooper's Pond one mile up the road. Moments before this, the child had been readying for bed and, according to another sibling, became increasingly agitated. The last words he uttered were about some sort of song before he dashed out of the house and into the night, where his watery grave awaited him. This last event persuaded residents to request help from officials to see if this related to St. Louven's Lantern, a phenomenon where the exposure to specific underground gases leads certain victims to experience waking dreams, auditory hallucinations, and the sense of unseen presences. Preliminary tests indicate the gases present in the homes of mining officials are moving the residents until more tests can be completed. We read a fancy book recently which was recommended as gay by a Facebook post. Desert world where cities are on giant stilts and ghosts haunt the sands. Author puts in a mention of God with a dash instead of the O every few paragraphs. You give no other comment, you guess. Okay, Froy, have a good night. You're welcome and thanks for coming by. making me feel dizzy, so I'll just get past this section and uh, call it. There has been another sighting of the albino groundhog from a very reliable source this time. Edgar Stutter reports that he saw the pure white bee sticking near the shade gap. Mr Stutter has declined to give any more in of an exact location, implores his helicopter hunters to admire this anomaly from afar and leave him to his business. We could not agree more of this upstanding citizen and remind townsfolk that if you're interested in seeing an albino creature, stop by Sudi's Barbershop for a peek at an albino raccoon. We're certain this will assist your mind in completing the search for the groundhog. Hmm, this is interesting, but... Yeah, not exactly about a ghost. Okay, so I need to find the uh, ones about ghosts. Strike numbers on. No ghost to be found here. The way you say ghost, it sounds like you don't believe me. If you're going to go for the trouble of inventing a world so far from Earth, maybe don't put in such a constant jarring references to a real world religion. That's fair. If you want a book that features a transfer main character, I'd recommend Dreadnought by April Danielson. Yep, I agree, Firestarter. That is a good book. This one. No ghost. No ghost here. Just the ghost of the past. Oh wow, this is gnarly. And awesome. <laughs> oh my god. Yep, me realised about the teeth. No ghost here. No ghost here. Hey, look at this. Hmm, yeah. 
it looks like possum jump let me read it it's possum jump oh yeah that's back up in the state park right yeah ever been up there nope gonna check it out though go nuts that's uh, probably only a mile or so from Miss Mir Mrs. Miranda's house, back up in the hills. All kinds of stuff up there. Well, I'll try to avoid any basements or corpse husbands. Co-signed. No ghost here. Okay, I'm going to stop reading that out. look scooch so I can see it graveyard that's a gimme I mean if you're looking for ghost stuff that's where they make a lot of them looks like they saw him in the old section oh cool that's where his grave is I'm actually interested in that how should you not be interested this is like an actual dangerous ghost stuff I like history ghosts are history history of the won't stay history <laughs> that's actually pretty good. Oh well, that's like three leads. Let's boogie. Let's boogie. Okay, I just want to say A plus pun, mate. Yep, oh, cosign's a good line. Also, is that it? Yeah. No, let's look at more stuff. No ghost here. 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 Okay, guess I'm done here. Had to restart your computer. Glad you didn't miss much. Yep, I'm just going to finish this section and call the stream, I think. Uh, how long did it take you to restart your computer? Oh, yeah. It's patch, um, patch Tuesday tomorrow, isn't it? So, we got some leads. Can I borrow your car this week? Do you even have a license? I mean, no, regardless. But do you? Nope. No license, no credit cards, don't believe in money. You just believe in other people's cars and money. I didn't choose to be born into this society. Okay, well, I have, you know, a job. So I can't drive you around to all these spots. I can maybe do the graveyard. I need to go there anyway. Cool, I'll see if Greg wants to do the other two. You know, like, and I don't probably don't have to say this, but just because something happened in the past doesn't mean it's going to happen again. Hey nerd, ever hear that history repeats? It does. It does the same thing over and over again. So we've just been in a loop since we're living in caves? Yeah, that's science. Oh my freaking god. Ah, these guys again. What is? Is that Miss Quincy? Oh wow, I haven't seen her since graduation. She was always kind of badass. School district did not fund the art program at all. But she made it work. She was like some sort of art teacher survivalist. Wow, I never realised. I think they pay her bits of in bits of string and empty soda cans. Should be saving that string to repair those bridges in Saltstown. There you go. Thank you all for, t for coming to this second meeting of the Possum Springs Poetry Society. Do you want to stick around for this? Nah. Yeah. Oh, hey, it's um May's friend who does the poetry. Tonight we have tonight we have poems for myself. 
and Fisherman Jones, and Selma Ann Forrester. I will start us off with one of my own. She's from some big city, right? They don't actually pay her in string, right? Yes, May. They literally pay her in string. I was just joking. I love their denial maker so much. Right. Ahem. <clears throat> Letter to my worst student. To my worst student. The subject of my stories. I tell friends back home when they ask about life. Out here in the sticks. It's you. I worry. At the end of my life. You will be the only one I remember. Why did? You key. My car. I know. It was. You. You wish there was a kid show with a trans girl main character where the focus isn't. This girl is trans. Look at how trans she is. Just let us know with a trans flag in the background and maybe show a couple of medicine bottles in the medicine cabinet. Or maybe just have a kid show with a trans girl in general. Yeah, that'd be nice. I mean, we're getting closer. Uh, she ran nearly had um, perfumer as trans. Apparently, they uh, did actually deliberately design her as a trans girl. But um, yeah, basically, uh, they didn't think they'd get away with it until it turned out LGBT characters were on the table. And by that time, they'd already cast a cis voice actress, so they decided, um, well, actually, that's not true, because I think later they actually uh, have a trans guy who, in the uh, pre-reboot version, was actually a cis woman. So that's pretty cool. You. Brian. Thanks, everyone. Is that legal? Poor Miss Quil Quelsey. Oh, hey, uh, Zapastring Rancic. I hope I pronounced that right. Welcome to the stream. How are you on this fine evening? And do you remember your uh, writing club at a community co college being this sparse? Yeah, to be fair, um, Steven Universe had trans-coded char um, characters who are sort of in a relationship despite being uh, space rocks. Um, she ra of course, speaks for itself and nearly had trans characters. So logically, the next uh, big um, children's show is going to have trans characters in it. Actually, think about it, I think um, Lumberjanes, which was written by... Um, uh, what's their face? Who was behind the she reboot? I'm feeling a bit lightheaded from speaking so much and I can't quite remember what her name is. You're from Russia, so the nickname is difficult. Uh, fair enough. Zopos Raknik. Oh, it's pronounced Zopos Raknik. Oh, hey Joe, how's it going? Well, I can't speak any Russian or acrylic languages, so... Is Zopos okay? Is that close enough? Most of the time it was just you and the professor. Even though the gaming club was like five dudes total of the time you were there. Got a bit bigger after you graduated and they upgraded the college to a uni. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, well, uh, yeah, anyway, uh, Lumberjanes is getting an adaptation, and that actually has an openly trans character in it. So hopefully, um, if that animated series, uh, gets, uh, done, yep, boom, kids show with a trans character in it. And she's just, like, casually trans. Has a bit of a arc where it's revealed she's trans, where she's talking to a non-binary kid. Oh, hey, Pony, how's it going? Yeah, it does also mute, doesn't it? Keeps catching me off guard because um, it keeps not auto muting, and I have to hear my voice when I open 
my own stream up for whatever reason. Anywho, like I said, let's just get past this section because my voice is starting to go. How are you all doing? At least she's blowing off some steam. Next up, Fisherman Jones. Fisherman Jones has a poem for us. Two. Two poems. They're short though. Oh yeah, this is the guy who was fishing in the subway and singing to himself. You are going... You are doing, okay? Oh, you're doing okay. Right. Two poems. Take it away. Um, hi folks, thanks. This is called Turn of Eels. Turn of Eels, Turn of Eels. I do not know how it feels to be in darkness all the time. Born in muck and raised in slime. But neither do you. N no traps, paths I've trudged. So it hardly is your place to judge. Okay, that's one poem. The next one is shorter. This is called Tunnel Frogs. Tunnel frogs sit winds in the dark. Must think it would be a lark to be a fisherman like me. But what do you know, amphibie? That's it. That's great. Thank you, Fisherman Jones. Dude is really worried what, about what fish think. He definitely talks to at the actual fish. No less. In October 2020, HBO Max won a bid against Apple and Peacock to release an animated television adaptation of the series. The one hour animated special introducing the characters will be executive produced by Noelle Stevenson. Hot damn. Snap, 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 snap. Yep, Noelle Stevenson. That's who I was thinking of. Oh, most definitely. Finally, a poem by Selma Ann Forrester. Yay, Selma's! Thanks, May. You know her? Dude, she's like your neighbour. Oh. She writes these really funny, dorky short poems. I'm up for something short and funny. This is called There is no reception in Possum Springs. <laughs> she's not wrong. Um, no reception here. I wave my black phone in the air like a prayer, like a prayer, but no reception. I read on the internet, baby face boy billionaire. Phone app sold, made more money in one day than my family of a hundred generations. More than my whole world ever has. World where house buying jobs become rent paying jobs become living with family jobs. Boy billionaires. Money is access. Access to politicians waiting for us to die. Lead in our water. Alcohol and painkillers. Replace my job with an app. Replace my dreams of a house in the yard with a couch in the basement. The future is yours. Force 24 7 entrepreneurs. I just want a paycheck in my own life. I'm on the couch in the basement. They're in the house in the yard. Some night I will catch the bus out to the west coast and burn their Silicon City to the ground. Bradley gets up across the third. Knock it off. Slash. One of those surfs nobody gets. Hehe. <laughs> One hundred dollars says Disney does it horribly by having the parents out in the character as trans, by having the parents dead name the child and then kind of do it, a uh, skipping over it. Uh, to be fair, the uh, I believe the uh, setting is that they're characters are all away from their parents at a camp so that's probably not going to happen and to be fair I very much doubt Noelle Stevenson is going to let that happen because um, she wrote the um, well they wrote the uh, comic in the first place and uh, I doubt they'll uh, have that I keep forgetting does Noelle Stevenson use um, she they or is it strictly she her or they they uh, they, them. Ah, it doesn't matter. Well, it matters, but... Moving on. I'm starting to feel dizzy from talking constantly. Right, anyway. Holy shit. Wow, damn. Ha, huh, she rhymed, entrepreneur. I didn't even know what that word means. 
thanks everyone. Is she always like this? No? Wow. Huh? Thanks everyone. See you in two weeks. Hey Selmers. What? I liked your weird poem. Thanks, I wrote it myself. What was the assumption that she didn't write hers? Twitter says any pronouns. Oh, fair enough then. Oh, yep, yeah, don't worry, uh, Pony, I'll be fine. I just sort of ran out of tea, so my throat's getting a bit parched. Yeah, I managed to drink unusually quickly this time. How long have I been streaming? Two and a half hours? Uh, sorry, uh, most of your writing is kind of jumbled. You didn't get good sleep for the last couple of days. Oh, you meant for a regular Disney show, not Lumberjanes. Alright, oh, yeah, that's fair enough. <sighs> yes, you're right. It is hard when you're fueled by tea and you run out of tea. At least that's what the trans men tell me. Anyway. Wait, was the assumption that she didn't write it her s Nice work, Smilmer. I don't like that nickname. What are you two? Sorry. It's cool. Can we go now? <laughs> Bay doesn't get it. Trophy earned. Poets of Possum Springs. Okay, thanks for coming. We live here. Right, so... Find out anything about your ghost? Yeah! Tell him, Bay. There were some newspaper clippings that talked about a ghost. Not just any ghost. Little Joe. I don't really remember Little Joe. He is a ghost miner. He died in mysterious circumstances. Wow. I know, right? Mysterious. I thought you were, like, afraid of this ghost. Like, filled with dread and shit. I'm terrified. Okay. So it mentioned three different places we can all go check out. Uh, I have work and stuff. Yeah, Greg and I also have work. You guys skip out and work all the time. Maybe we can, like, split this up. Share custody of you, you, have, you and your ghost. What places were you thinking about? Uh, the graveyard? I call that one. It's close and not illegal. Is there an illegal one? Sure is. The Historical Society. You know, you don't have to, like, break in. The people there get paid to show it to you. Icky. I'm here to show hunt ghosts, and, well, that's about it. Oh, tea. I'm out of tea. This didn't go right. I'll come in again. Yep, fair enough. The May I know may show up at one point. She loved this, loves this game, apparently. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm going... As I said, I'm just going to try and finish this section. The quote from... They let... Oh, yep. Yeah. yeah. I missed that reference. I'm here to hunt ghosts, and well, that's about it. Oh, tea. I'm all out of tea. This didn't go right. I'll come in again. I'm here to hunt ghosts and drink tea. I'm all out of tea. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, before I finish this game, I'm hoping to cross play me. So I've got my, uh, I've got a wig. What wor I'm working on here. I've sort of uh, partially dyed it and left a little tuft of red up here, and I'm going to have to rinse that out and see how it goes. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Oh. Uh. May Windrist Codex. Oh, hey, Bane. Uh, welcome to the stream. Firestarter was just saying you're about to drop in. Uh, glad you enjoy this game because I'm loving it. No spoilers uh, because I'm playing it blind, but yep, yeah, feel free to watch. I mean, that's the entire point of this stream. Uh, it's being streamed for people to watch. I'm just finishing this section, so yep, yeah, feel free to drop a follow if you want to follow, or don't. 
Anyway, yeah. The people there like get paid to show it to you. Anyway, I'm in for the historical society. Awesome. So what do I get stuck with? Possum jump. Exclamation mark. I know possum jump. We used to go there in the scouts. Perfect. Okay, I need to actually like get home. And do work. This is going to be awesome. And also I'm scared to death. <laughs> Ta-da, it's Selma's, a good poet. Thought, if I die, Selma should write a poem about it. And now we know the context of the mysterious tooth. Yeah, vows are jerks. Making their sounds with the consonants and... Yeah. Yeah, seems like that's going around. The, uh... Yeppers. So, um, you and Mum had a bit of a fight yesterday, huh? Yeah. I thought you two were getting along. We were. We are. Yep, we know the story of the mysterious tooth. I strained my throat reading it out. Oh, yeah, we know about the tooth, but does it have markings on it? Oh, I wonder if I uh, waited and found the tooth um, after reading the article, uh, I'd have learned a bit more about it. Just a bump. You two, always two alike. I guess. I got your chill and her smart assness. Oh, I just hate to see you, you two on the outs again. It'll be fine. We're cool. So we're having money problems? What? No, we're fine. Dad. May it's fine. It's okay. I'm 20. I can handle it. Nothing to handle. Okay. Yeah, parents keeping money trouble to themselves. Vibe of that as well. Might just head up to bed tonight. Sounds good, kid. Been a long couple of days. Ah, oh, no TV watching. And there's our little glowing friend. It's May's only friend, but he's not actually May's only friend, and actually he's not her friend. I wonder if the new clock downstairs, working clock downstairs, thinks this clock is scary. Big old thing upstairs. Like you, but different. Huge and spooky. The lesson here is never to let your pride stop you from accepting help. Yep, good advice. Making weird noises at night. Ah, oh, I can't find this thing spooky. It's a piece of granddad. We need more of those. Well, you've inherited its tooth, haven't you? Okay, is there anything else in this crawl space now, then? Guess not. I absolutely love the rubber hose animation in this game. Okay, let's see what's on the old computer. Hey, let me know when you want to hit the cemetery. I should be around most nights this week. Oh. I accidentally use a uh, May's voice for Bay. IDK, thanks Bay. Don't thank me too hard. I'm going there anyway, and it's like right down the road. You're ruining this. Oh, in that case, you are so incredibly welcome. And also, you best not forget this big favour. That's more like it. I'm falling asleep. Had fun tonight. Sorry if I was grouchy. It's just. 
It's fine. Wait, did you fall asleep? Lol. Oh, she fell asleep on her keyboard. Okay. That's cute. No less. Your grandma's house is a noisy grandfather clock that almost kept you up when sleeping over. Charming like that and stuff. Yeah. Uh, my uh, current D&D &D game, which is restarting later this month, maybe. I don't know what's going on anymore. Uh, basically, um, the DM just sort of... Um, obviously, there's like the uh, guy who gives the uh, party our quests. And it, the sound for him, that's literally just a ticking clock thing is it's supposed to be annoying and kind of creepy but I like it must not fall asleep at two in the afternoon like an old person <laughs> well you know it's just like um when someone's um mentions candle jack and uh, they uh Sorry, old meme. Yo, I looked up the Historical Society on the internet. It's real old, but they did big renovations. Oh, really? I mean, listen, I'm not saying there's a ghost, but old stuff like that just got torn up seems like Ghost Central. How so? My arm was still in frame. Well, maybe my arm was tied up. Oh, come on, that's ridiculous. Just because you said Candlejack doesn't mean you... <laughs> okay, that meme is timeless. And I'll defend it to my end. Sorry, I'm scratching my nose a lot. Anyway, how so? You're a ghost hanging out in an old house? And then someone puts in a pool where you died or something? What if pause would actually be pretty scary? I'm spooked, I'm going to bed. Has anyone ever even... Anyone even ever watched Freakazoid? Heck yeah, I have. Yeah, he had his own... Ch yeah, Freakazoid is great. Yeah, the Tick and Freakazoid were separate shows, or they were usually shown in the same block. Sharkle is indeed the best. What the fib? Uh, well, I think quite a lot of the episodes are actually on YouTube if you want to watch them. They use, they're, they are sort of classic 15 minute short... 15 minute short format, so, yeah. There is actually one... I remember once... No one else will know this, um... Because we used to be in a club that watched uh, bad movies using, um sync tube when that was a thing there's an old movie called um terror of uh something or other basically it's an old black and white m movie uh involving um eyeballs and fog and we realized that um i remember basically realized that um one episode of freakazoid was actually a whole plot reference to it heck yes yeah, sharkle I admire your taste, May. I admire your taste. Hey, May. Let me know when you want to go to the park. I looked up a map, and it's a pretty straight shot up to Possum Jump. Oh, great. We never really get a chance to hang out. It'll be fun, I think. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Night, sir. Tip's hat. Okay, I hope he Angus is not a fedora. Right, Harvard Post is awesome secretly killing you. Okay, two hours, 40 minutes. Cut. You know what? We'll get back to Demon Tower next stream. If I uh, want a terrible movie, but it's so bad it's good. I re you recommend Iron Sky. Oh, I'll give that a look. What's it about? 
save and quit to title. Okay, so. Man's double haunted. You remember talking to a dev on the IRC thing, and some glitch was like, You watch stuff on this by yourself? Weird. Anyway, I'm just going to switch over here and put my webcam on. There we go. Uh, shut down my PlayStation. Oh God, that's what I've been looking like this entire time. And unplug. And there we go. Hopefully, that's still working because uh, it tends to make my uh, browser a bit laggy when they're both running, which is probably a sign I need to get myself a new rig. But you know what computer prices are like at the moment. Anyway, uh, thanks everyone for coming by. Uh, keep watching my. Uh, Twitter for more news about the cosplay. Yep, as I actually said earlier, I'm basically working on a May cosplay to go over these, this stream. So I've just sort of dyed most of this red wig black. I might uh, have to go over it again. Obviously, there, I'm going to get some cat ears and get the shirt done. And I'm just going to find someone to raid when uh, Firefox feels like opening. Oh wow, thanks for the uh, sub, Icky. Ah, oh, yep. Yeah. Uh, make sure you use those bread emotes. Bad Andy. Ursidness. He started not long after I did. And uh, somebody recommended Leftist Gaming Club, Meme, Queen, Jude, and Oron. Bread for a head. <laughs> well, I'll see who um, who's online on my friends list on my watch list first, because I usually feel kind of weird about raiding people I don't know. And of course, it's going to take ages to load because of course it is. Oh well, while it's loading. Okay, so obviously this Wednesday I'll be streaming more nice in the woods. Friday will be the usual um, uh, Phoenix Wright stream. Nick's been going for an hour and a half. Don't know how long he goes on for. Nick being instantly the um, DM of the game I mentioned. I think he actually wants to start streaming when we start the next quest. Ah, here we are, it's loading. Can't really say without spoiling, but one thing you can say, there is a moment where a lady punches Hitler riding a T-Rex on the moon. Sorry the message got pushed too far up and you tr try not to double send messages. Alright, that's the movie Iron Sky. Fair enough. If you recall correctly, you ran across Bad Andy for a chain of raids started by some by um, N.K. Jemsin, who is hosting him. Ah, oh, that's fair enough. Okay, who's online? Okay, there's nine people in the stream. Who shall we grace with your presence? Okay, so... 
Yeah, I think I'll go and bother Nick. You know, speaking of which, Nick actually has a uh, guard the raid as one of his um, option points options, so maybe I should consider that. Okay, so... My uh, stream started playing and I heard my own voice. I hate that. Anyway. Yep, of course I've seen, seen Star Crash and Kung Fury. Kung Fury is amazing. Kung Fury is amazing. Yeah, is that really what I look like? Oh. I keep myself um, in a smaller stream size in the future. Okay, we're getting ready to raid. Uh, thanks everyone for coming. I hope you all have a lovely evening. Yeah, I think uh, Kung Fury ended up as a shorter movie because it was... Um, only partially uh, kick-started or didn't meet the stretch goal or something like that. Oh, well, in any case, um, we'll uh, just raid in three, two, one, and let's go.